All right, today I'm going to give you a lesson on how to play Caesar's Country Song. Um, in this first lesson, I'm going to show you all the um, the chords and riffs, and then in the next lesson, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to show you uh, Troy McCullen's main guitar solo. Um, so let's start here. Um, we're going to be tuned down a whole step, so it would be D G C F A D. So I'm going to mainly concentrate on Sean Morgan's rhythm guitar parts on this le in this lesson, like I said. So, so we're going to start out with that intro and verse. Starts out with it's going to start with an E octave on the seven on the A and nine on the G. Now you want to mute the D string, and but we want the open low E string in there. So one of the key things about this is that you want to count on the upbeats. It's like Okay. Then we have the ending which is going to go That's just low single notes, 6th string, 5th fret twice. And then 3/5 then and on three, so then you repeat. You're gonna do that again, but then the second half is gonna. You're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna turn them into power chords. The first one is an E power chord, but with the sixth string in the bass to get that deep sound like they had on the album. And do this. And same. Do the exact same thing. repeat that over and over uh, but during the first verse we have an extended version of it you're gonna go G then A back to G and then you do the same ending and that takes us to uh, the chorus which is gonna sound uh, is going to sound something like this. And that's just going to repeat twice. So we're going to start out with a little tag. So that's just a quick hammer pull, five, six, five on the low E, down to three. And that takes us to the actual chorus. So it's an E5, then G, move out two frets to A. Then we're going to take these two fingers and move them up a string into the exact same chord like we did at the seventh fret, but down at the fifth fret. Slide up to the up two frets. Then repeat the first three chords again. And just repeat right from the tag. So it's like slowly. And just repeat that again. Then up to there those parts repeat. And then we get to that interlude section, which is also going to be the bridge. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you the, the rhythm. So the rhythm guitar underneath it is going to sound like this. Alright, so what that is, is an E5. You're going to hit it twice. Then we have this kind of bluesy thing. That's just, we're going to go 5, 7 on the A, kind of muted, to the 5th fret of the D, back to 7 on the A. So, twice, so it's like, then you could do that again. Now we're going to go, that's just going to do, we have a little run that's just 5, 7 on the A. 
and then five seven slide a nine on the D, and then seven nine on the G. So it's like this part's gonna be slowly. And then you you're gonna do that first part again. And then A A G A. And then you start over from the tag, then you do that tag, then you do that whole thing again. But at the very end, you're gonna go and just do A A G A G. Okay, after that, we have that little breakdown section, which is gonna be. So this is all octaves. We're gonna go, we're gonna go seven, ten, twelve. Now the first time through, you're gonna go up to fifteen, down to fourteen. So the first part is like this. Second time through, you do the. First three octaves again. And then you have those hits at the end. That's just 12 twice. And then 10, 12. So it's like. So the whole thing in context. Do the, you do the entire chorus, and then you end. Then you get, then the outro section is going to be that main bridge, that uh, that rhythm underneath the solo, twice, and then you just end with the G five, and that's all the rhythm guitar parts for country song. Join me in my next lesson, where we're going to take a look at the Troy McCall uh, the guitar solo by played by Troy McCallan. I'll see you there. Hey guys, this is Dylan here, Daughtry Fan Four Nine Seven here. And uh, we're going to finish our look at Country Song by taking a look at um, Troy McCullen's main guitar solo. Uh, we're still tuned down a whole step like the rhythm guitar video. Make sure you grab the tab. I'm going to leave the link in the description for the tab so you can follow along. Alright, so we're going to start out with this opening phrase. We're going to go... So that is a hammer on from 0 to 2 on the G, and then hit the high E string open. Do that twice. So we be. Alright, next phrase. Alright, so. This bit, this next part I'm going to show you is reminiscent of uh, SRV's Pride and Joy. So if you're um, familiar with that song, that beginning, that, uh, that iconic beginning, you know that... Uh it's something similar to that. So we're going to, it's, we're going to slide from 3 to 5 on the B. But we're going to have the high E string open. But once you get to that 5th fret, we're going to hit, and just going to keep hitting it. Like 2 bars, so it would be this slowly. And 
then you're gonna move it that same kind of idea, move it up to the 12th fret. So, so far it's... Alright. Alright, then we get to this kind of uh, a common blues lick. So, this is a standard blues leg here. We're going to start out with a whole step bend on the 15th fret of the B. Has whole step bend and release. And then, that is 15 to 12 on the B, high E then the B. So, then whole step bend on the 14 on the G. So, Then we're going to go, that is 12 on the B, roll to the high E, and do that pull, those, those two pull-offs again. Then we're going to end with, we're going to end with this. Alright, so that's just two units and bends. We're going to bend the 15th fret on the B to mash to the 12th fret of high E. Then, met, then bend the 14 on the G to hold step to match the 12th fret of the B. But once you get to the top of this bend, we're going to grab the 15 on the B. So... And then you're going to end with a, a whole step bend on the 17 on the high E. With some vibrato. So this bit slowly goes. So the whole thing, nice and slow, goes like this. in context would be and that takes us back to that takes us to that little uh, bridge riff and that's the whole solo I'll I'll leave the tab in the description so you can involve uh, so you can break down that solo down. Otherwise, that's pretty much country song. Good luck. <laughs>